What's up guys and welcome back, we're here with another 1212 AD custom battle with myself playing as the Electorate of Trier against the Holy Roman Empire and we are basically, we're basically a, a rebellious elector the, like the Holy Roman Empire is at war probably somewhere else and we've decided to rebel, we've taken our chance for independence so um, we'll quickly go through some of the units that I have while uh, while we wait for uh, both armies to set up, as is the case with uh, getting a replay to work. You need a setup after you press ready up for some reason. But anyway, less of ranting about that. Anyway, we've got four units of Genoese crossbowmen, as you can see. Actually, no, I think I have five units of Genoese crossbowmen at the moment. Crossbowmen. Uh, running across here, all in uh, their scattered formation so they don't get focused down. I have four units of uh, Knights of Trier. Two going off in this direction, followed by the Archbishop of Archbishop Elector of Trier. Let's see this guy. Look at these fancy colours he's got on pink, purple, yellow. I mean, all sorts going on there. I don't actually know which one is him because they all have fancy uniforms. He could be any of them. My bets is on. I don't know. It could be any of them. The man with the flag, for all I know. Um, but we also have a Trier Sword Infantry here at the front. We also have dismounted Elector Knights in the rear. These are my elite of elites. And I think over here we've got some Elector Sword Infantry. These are slightly different, but they're more medium infantry. Um, and then we'll quickly have a look at the Holy Roman Empire. Yes, they have turned up to crush this rebellion that is going on. So we have Hanseatic Infantry, which are a heavy crossbowman infantry unit. So I imagine they're fairly good in melee as well. Um, but it's got three units of them. Um, has some Brabo Brab Brabzonian spearmen. Uh, that was definitely not right, but that's all, that's the best it's getting. We've got the Knights of the Holy Roman Empire, the Imperial Ritter. Look at these guys. Look at that guy with his cool horns on his head. You, sir, are going to get many kills just for being so goddamn cool. Um, we have... Dismounted Imperial Ritters, so the guys are just on horse we've just seen there. They're on foot. We have sergeants. So they're just basically the basic infantry. Look at them, looking very looking very fancy. Uh, more dismounted Imperial Ritter. Actually, no, these are different. These are early. These are not like the ones that we've just seen earlier. These are ever so slightly different. Different armor, different weaponry. Um, and then we have the Holy Roman Emperor's bodyguard. There he is. Off he goes to war. There's the Holy Roman Emperor in his golden armor. Can you stop moving? I just want to get a good view of you. Just for all the viewers to see. Look at that man. Look at that gorgeous man. Damn. If you're making yourself a target with golden armor, you must be good. Um, so yeah, I think the battle is almost ready to get underway. Um, so I might just give it a quick fast forward. And while we wait for uh, the two armies to get ready... Um, I would just like to say thank you very much for all the subs and likes and comments recently. All the support is very much appreciated. And uh, keep it up. Just uh, keep on, if you're new around here, leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more. And uh, leave a comment to say that you're new around here or or whatever. Or if you've just got something that you want to complain about with my tactics, uh, then also leave a comment. Because, I mean, all advice is welcome here. Um, so yeah, while we... Uh, what, what else? Oh, here we go. Some major movement now by the Holy Roman Empire. Swinging over to the right. I've moved my... Uh, Pavis crossbowmen up. I thought these were Genoese, but they're not actually. They're just Trier Pavis crossbowmen. They're just... We can't afford the Genoese with our gold. We don't have enough. Um, and then I've also moved my cavalry on this side just to defend the flanks. Because I kind of see what he's doing. He's trying to get around my flank. And look at the space. He's trying to get into that space here. Get around my flank. Um, with his knights as he goes on to do now so we are getting ever so close I think if from my memories to the clashing of the battle um, I'm moving up my cavalry over here forcing his right as he's uh, abandoning it basically just to uh, to make take up a, a position kind of like over this side I was kind of wanting to stay on this hill but um, I've been forced to kind of come off it a little bit I still have the troops on the on the kind of on the top of it but only just. So, as we can see, um, we have 
I was about to say two lines of infantry, but I forget that he has hands, these Hanseatic guys are actually crossbows. I guess crossbows first, then, then sworded. Yeah, they got axes actually. They're pretty. They, they're going to be pretty nasty. They have axes. They're going to be pretty nasty. But here we go. It looks like I'm just going to keep fast forwarding because there's nothing else really going on. But I mean, yeah, this is um, the Electra of Trier is one of seven electors in the Hurum Empire that you have. So you have, I think, you have Bohemia's one. Um, you have Col uh, Cologne, I think, is one. Um, I'm trying to think of who else. There's a few. There's, well, obviously the seven. Bavaria, I think, might be one. But anyway, there we go. First shots of the battle have started. Good to see. So, um, I'm trying to... Yeah, and obviously Trier is one. And Mainz is one. I think quite a lot of the uh, elector, elector ships are also Bishop Fricks. Or Archbishop Fricks. Um, and then another one is Brandenburg, of course. As, a, as another elector. They kind of chop and change, depending on, like... Who's in favor of the emperor? Guys, you got to fire? Like, you've just been shot at. Reply, please. What am I paying you for if you're not going to fire? Okay, some of them are deciding to fire now. Good. I don't know. I mean, these guys... Do these guys have... Yeah, they have shields on the back of them. There's, uh, but they're not really using them. It's like this guy did here. He failed to use his shield, and he's died for it. What an idiot. Um... As we can see here, there's a movement now from the infantry, spears and uh, these dismounted Ritter getting into position, ready to uh, support this cavalry. It's, this is a pretty menacing force going on over here, this is Imperial Ritter, and then this cavalry, uh, mounted Imperial Ritter. God, they look good though. They And they've got, uh, their armoured horses look excellent, I mean my Trier Knights have looked fairly damn good themselves. They hopefully will perform well in battle. I expect much glory with that white shield. And here, we, oh, is this going to be it? No, no. We're just repositioning again. I think I'm just saying, no, that's it. You're not coming down this little other way. I'm not allowing it. Uh, the difference is that I've not really supported my. I've been late in supporting my uh, cavalry with infantry. So there's this dismay, dismounted elected knights only just getting here. And as you can see, he's massively repositioning. I really should uh, alter my formation because I'm very flat to compared to him. He's definitely could attack me, and like my my flank over here would be no no use. But we are in okay. He's sending forward some spears like just on their own. Interesting, interesting move. I should have probably have taken advantage of this and run them down. But here we go. Here comes the clash of cavalry. This is going to be nasty. Oh, so, okay. So the Imperial Ritter kind of got a bit of the advantage, I think. There, I'm not really sure. It's hard to tell. Um, I mean, his infantry gets in and gets a nice little charge off of me and gets quite a few kills. Um, really need to sort that out. I'm sending in mine now, desperately trying to help out. All of a sudden, everything, as you can see here, is going out the window. My cavalry's now pushing on the right, as is my infantry. My archers are... God knows what they're doing. They're just... They're doing something. I'm losing decisively. Or at least, actually, I'm losing there. I think I'm losing decisively over here. Now my infantry is joining the fray. Uh, and hopefully they can help support and kill a few of their cavalry off. And their infantry. We can hope. At this point, he's got his spears that are coming across. They're getting ready to engage my... I think these are my elector swords here. But yeah, as you can hear, my men are already giving up. They're getting absolutely hammered on that left side. So I need to send in more infantry, but I've got to take out these spears so I can, because they're an obstacle in getting through here. As you can see, my cavalry is already broken there. Um, yeah, it's looking a bit messy. It's a colourful mess, though. Um, this is only really still like one of my very first few games of 12-12, so I'm still very... I'm still very uh, new to it, and I, I can't deal with like the sheer power of cavalry. The cavalry in this mod is insane. They literally run down and kill everything. Look at, I mean, my Trier knights. They've been fairly upgraded, but they still get cut down by this Imperial Ritter. It's just, it's just a lot better, it would seem. Though his Imperial Ritter is now breaking as well. It's had enough. 
on both on both flanks. It's now just down to infantry. So it'll be interesting to see who can uh, who can win that fight. I mean, he's now supporting his spears with late uh, with sergeants. Um, my cavalry both have returned, as have both of his, I think. Actually, no, one has broken, has fled. Um, this one may we we probably could deal with. I'm going for his archers instead. Um, the infantry line, as we've missed the infantry line and in clash, is kind of already happening. I'm not having much success there either. Um, his uh, infantry is just ever so slightly better, and it's been supported by cavalry. He's been able to manage to keep one of his cavalry free. And is able to do enough damage, uh, basically just to try and like just to hack down my infantry. Look at these guys; they're just not having it. They're not happy or pleased that they're getting cut down by cavalry, so they're already breaking. So I, I try to send in more these dismantled elector knights um, that've been freed up, but I think I forget about them and they kind of stay there. I wanted to put them around the rear here and support and free up all of this that I have here because this is a huge fight fight on this side. It's basically the uh, a replica of what happened on the far left but I mean we're having no success in pushing through I mean look at the banners and stuff they're just excellent they're just so pretty so pretty uh, a well done job by the modders um, but yeah as you can see as they got they got freed up I forgot about them and now they're being pinned down by uh, sergeants and spears so it's a good mix here and uh, hopefully well, he's probably going to win because, I mean, look at all the blood and like, all the guys that are dying on my side. It is not a good sign. Pretty nasty. As we can see, okay, my infantry, yeah, my infantry line is gone. These infantry have, like, re returned, but they're not even looking the right way. I must have been trying to sort something else else elsewhere, but, I mean, they're just going to get cut down in the rear, which is never good. So the yeah, a bad a bad showing by a uh, Pope today in trying to de defeat the Holy Roman Empire. But Trier will, will fight to the end. It will do his utmost to win. My general back here, the Archbishop. Look at him. He's not pleased. He's not pleased at all. I'm gonna go with this must be the Archbishop because he's got a flipping staff. Who goes to war with a staff, man? You're not gonna get any kills with that. Idiot. Idiot. But anyway, so we now have uh, just Pavi's crossbows being cr uh, cut down by cavalry now. I mean, the right sort of was a success. We kind of broke through here, um, but to uh, so much, so much death. It just, it just was not worth it in the end. Um, so I just go for one last glorious charge. Oh, that is nasty. I mean, we sort of got, got the end of that, but I mean, you can see, look at all the dead bodies. That's a fresh unit, I think. That was a fresh unit. It's gone down to 60 odd. It is pretty nasty. And now he's getting chased down by cavalry. It's um, it's not looking good. My left is finally broken. These uh, dismounted elector knights stood strong, but they got overwhelmed by the good use of cavalry, uh, spears, and like halberdiers. It, just, it was uh, excellent. It was well done. Um. So, uh, yeah, these cavalry, my general is now kind of caught. I'm going for a final charge on the uh, in, on his archers back there. I'm like, well, if I can't get anything, I'll get his archers. But we're getting pinned down now by a lot of infantry, lots of spears. Cavalry still in it. Archers now firing in. They don't even care about friendly fire. And there you go. The archbishop is dead. All of his colourful horses riding off into the distance. And uh, that, that's going to be the battle. I mean, Trier rebelled against imperial rule had had enough and it had failed and there will be great repercussions and these men they know they've done well they're cheering they're cheering and uh, as you can there's just lots of breaking of uh, crossbowmen they're wavering anyway and there we go one last break and a decisive defeat it would be indeed um, we'll quickly look at the stats um, well done by uh, Premsil it was a well well done but again um beat me very decisively i am slowly learning but the hard way in a, a lot of defeats but um losses were pretty high um for me not for not for premsel um he only loses about 600 i lose about 1600 <laughs> um my archers doing pretty terrible i don't know really why i brought so many my cavalry 
Uh, these ones didn't do so well. Uh, these were the ones on the right, I think, but these ones did a bit better. Um, my This amount of elected knights did okay, and my infantry did pretty trash. My general did, well, he, like, you, like you saw there at the end, got about 50 odd kills just from that final charge. Uh, my Imperial Ritter, uh, Premsel's Imperial Ritter, sorry, did excellent. Uh, his cavalry, well, this one's certainly nearly getting 400 kills, ridiculous. And his sergeant's actually doing respectably well for being like fairly like cheapish units. Um, I probably should consider bringing more sergeants to battles because they seem to do quite well. Um, or maybe it's just because they're against me, who knows. Uh, his archer's also not doing so well, but there wasn't much of an archer engagement. It just all of a sudden just turned into one huge melee battle. But anyway, guys, if you enjoyed that battle and you want to see more 12-12 or just general uh, more uh, custom battles, then please leave a like and subscribe if you're new around here. And until next time, Legionnaires, bye for now.